An early morning bus crash sends seven children to the hospital and Sarasota Memorial Hospital into a mass casualty alert. But it becomes even more critical when it's a bus full of special needs students. It's among our worst nightmares. Children on a school bus involved in an accident. This is the scene behind me and what's left of the bus completely smashed in and taking out a traffic signal in the process. Of course, shutting down both lanes for well over an hour. And sending 12 special needs students into chaos. Sirens, people talking, the responders, all of that was a lot for some of my students who are nonverbal. Oak Park principal Edwina Oliver says the community is to thank for keeping students calm. There were about nine of um, the neighbors out and about. Each sitting with a student, something the superintendent is grateful for. Which really made this uh, a much easier transition for those students, knowing that there were adults on scene caring for them immediately. And being able to calm the students' fears, especially the students that we serve here in our district at my school, was very crucial this morning. How emergency crews respond is just as crucial, especially for a mass casualty level three. When we first got the telephone call to when the first arrival was approximately 10 to 12 minutes. Enough time for an emergency department to prepare. Four trauma surgeons, five emergency physicians, and two pediatricians. A team of more doctors than patients, protocol for level three. But Oliver says it's the way the community came together that helped these students get through trauma. When you speak to a student and you address them by their name, that's confirming to them to know that everything is okay, that someone knows me.